goal for the final week's training is basically to get it done, get it done uninjured, you know, we're as strong as we're ever going to be, so strength isn't going to increase in the final week, it's more of a confidence thing, so I need to tell myself that I can hit these weights comfortably and go into the kind of, the next phase of it when I'm going to compete confident and ready to go. The prep for the Royal Albert Hall has gone perfect, better than I thought. I've had a big plan since after World Shows, man, to really go in and smash it hard and I think people have seen in my training that I've been doing a lot of beltless stuff, sleeveless stuff, got my triceps bulletproof, hitting 200k logs, 200kg plus Viking press with no sleeves on, squatting 200 for 20 reps plus 260s for 10 reps, so all this stuff's PBs, a big leg press, it's all this stuff I'm doing, training for this competition, I've made sure I've hit everything hard, even at the stones, hitting them hard, hitting yoke, you know, PBs and yoke, changed my stuff in yoke. Deadlifts are, are coming back up as well. To hit 360 for six in deadlifts in a suit to I think, you know, at the Arnold's, I couldn't even pull one world I struggled with. So, all going, you know, well in the day. It should be a very good competition. Hi hey guys, this is the final session before Royal Albert Hall. Preventing injury is number one, but also just to get the body through the movements. Um, pointless going up for a 210k stone or a 200 stone and 450 yoke when we've done it. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to do what he wants, but yeah, that's me. I'm just going to do some speed work on the yoke just to try and keep my feet moving. I know that I'm capable of doing 450 very, very fast, but I just want to get my feet uh, moving. And same with Nicholas Stones, probably the weight that's on right now, and then just 20 metres or so, but nice and easy. But the logs, the priority for, me, for us today, I think, well, for myself anyway, these the Royal Albert Hall events have been, have been done and dusted, so we're going to have some fun. Let's do it. Nice one, Tom. Easy. What are you going up to in the log, bro? Uh, I'm going to see how the next lift feels, then we'll judge it. Uh, I'm not pushing 100% uh, today because the work's done. So there. Uh, I can have fun. Yep, come on. Get it, Luke. <laughs> yep, come on. Let's get it, Tom. Come on, there you go. Come on, Luke. Come on. Nice. Come on, Luke. Come on. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> How was that? So much better, man. So, yeah, that was good. Um, I've been failing 200 for the last little, last few weeks. So to get up 200 and go up to 210, um, it's just good for the confidence, you know. So, um, yeah, huge shout out to Dr. Suresh down in London. I went to see him for uh, some treatment. He he really helped me, really sorted me out, so um, 
you know, everyone's seen my right shoulder's getting a bit sticky. A um, little bit of mild arthritis in it. Um, but for me to come back and do that, Dr. Suresh is a doctor of shoulders and injuries. But I'm the f***ing log doctor. And uh, what are you most excited about? Yeah, most excited about competing there. Just to be back at Giants Live. I think Giants Live is the the best day show in the world. To sell out the Royal Albert Hall speaks volumes for what Giants Live are doing, so I think they're amazing. For me, being down there at the Albert Hall, somewhere so prestigious as the Albert Hall, knowing our training has gone as well as it can be, um, that makes me really excited. So going down there and getting PBs and the deadlift, PBs and the, the Viking press, the stones, the, the nickel stones, the yoke, you know, all those things I'm really excited about. So I think I've competed there in 2021 when I won Worlds, but I went there at like 10% strength. I still did a heavy axle, but you know, I still went there unprepared and unfit. So it's nice to go in there fit and to like give back to the fans as well. Nice, it'll be nice just to, yeah, it's an iconic event venue. Britain's Got Talent. What event do you think is your strongest event? I think the yeah, Viking press for me looks really good. Uh, I'm very confident my abilities there. I know there's a load of good pressers. I mean, Tom's looking incredible. Evan's looking good, Mitchell's looking good, Pavel's looking good, you know, so all the guys are looking really on top form. The event I'm looking forward to most actually is Viking Press. I'm very, very excited about that. My pressing right now I feel is possibly one of the strongest in the world and I think, I believe I'm one of the best pressers in the world. I'm just excited for everything, so. What's our next event? Uh, yoke. Well, I'm not going too heavy. Um, I'll probably go like 360 maybe, just to try and get a bit of speed in my legs and then that will be done, so. Yes, sir. Nice, Luke, come on. Nice. Keep going. Come on. Come on, Tom. Nice, Tom. Fast, Tom. Come on. Fast feet. Nice. Uh, going down felt really good. I just overextended a lot of bit and I think my calf just cramped a lot of bit. It's probably because I'm sweating like anything. Maybe not as hydrated as I should be. Um, so yeah, just uh, the left calf cramped a wee bit, but it's feeling fine. So no, uh, no big deal. So I'm just gonna go on to the nickel stones last time. How about you? Oh, yeah. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Nice. I literally cut it with my hand. <sighs> oh. oh god, it takes a while. Come on. Keep going, Har. Good. Come on, Har. You're so close. Come on. Squeeze. Come on. You're right there. Come on. 
Yes, Hart, come on! Come on! Giant slave! Harry, stop them, where you at, bruh? Where you at, giant slave, yeah? Where you at? Start inviting true athletes, bros. That's insane. Quite this is dedication, determination. Embrace the pain and you can achieve anything. Do it now. Don't be a fucking joke. Embrace the pain. Nice, Tom. Easy. Light. Good. Keep holding. Nice turn, Tom. Keep going. Keep it going, Tom. Get it all the way back. Come on. Squeeze! Nice. <laughs> Walk in the park. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my t shirt off. Here's the first one. I'm taking it off. It's absolutely soaking. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sweaty. Right. Oh, yuck. Very first place. Oh god, this is going to be a good one. It's disgusting. Oh. Oh. That's genuine sweat as well. Oh. Oh. SPD. Sweat, beards, and <laughs> How was the stones? Uh, These stones. It's actually quite easy. sorry, right? Actually quite easy. Uh, yeah, stay humble. Actually, <laughs> so easy, man. I'm going to wipe the floor of everyone. <laughs> Usually I just do one run, but I actually thought to myself, if I leave them up there, there's more work to roll them down. So I just thought I'd take them down with my hands and my grip feels dynamite. I never felt the, my grip used to be a weakness. and. My grip feels unbelievable, that hook grip, I'm just hooked onto them and uh, I really think that if my mind is on it and my, I'm 100% that I'm going to go far with these and to do that in the last training session with these at Conk Weight is, yeah, is nice and spicy so I'm very very happy with that and yeah, I'm happy I could go home now but unfortunately I need to do that this stones which I absolutely hate so. What's your expectations for yourself this competition? Yeah, podium, that's, that's what I, I can ask for myself every time. Podium is the least, winning it is my best outcome. Yeah, I'm not going to get less than podium, I'm going to win it. Any final words for everyone? Just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for the support, you know, it's awesome. I know in shows before we haven't kind of turned up in shape, but we are in shape and we are looking to, to win the Albert Hall um, and win every show that we compete at now. That's, that's what we're, that's our statement out there, you know, it's uh, any show that we turn up to, we're looking to win. Yeah, just a huge shout out, a huge thank you to everyone that supports us, to people that buy our merch, that are part of the Stoke & Strength Academy, that are buying our book, that are watching our videos, that are, you know, following us on social media. It, it really is uh, amazing to see so. Yeah, just a, a big shout out to everyone for supporting us. We'll see you at Royal Albert Hall in London. Be there, be spicy, and watch me put on a show for you.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Keep your heart stays in as well, by yourself. Right guys, so that is the last session done for all our hall. Good session. Uh, hitting everything we needed to hit, so good over the motions. Now it's just one week to rest, recover, and get the fight on at Royal Albert Hall. Been a busy month, you know, we've had quite a lot of things. We've obviously announced the pre-sale of the pre-orders of the book, um, Lifting Becoming the World's Strongest Brothers. That is going to be out 27th of July. We've just done a day uh, or a morning at the Highland Games venue in Buck Park in Inverness. So if you are wanting to come, please check out tickets for that. We're going to be there with a stall. Um, we've got Eddie Hall coming up soon as well. That's We've put a lot of, you know, effort into this training camp. Um, and I want to say one thing, training with Tom is absolutely insane. Last week, if someone asked me what strength is, it's this guy, because what he did last week when he one motioned every stone up to 210 kilos, that is strength. So being able to do that just like that literally blew my mind. Um, so it's again absolutely amazing getting to train with Big Tommy every, every day. And you think you're going to win the Albert Hall? All you other fuckers, not a chance. It's going to be stolen on that Emporium. It's time, time to break that the stone, world record, 200 kilograms. Hope you guys have been training hard because 200 kg stone is like a pebble. Anyway, guys, thank you for your support. We'll see you all at Royal Albert Hall in London, 15th of July. Stay stay smile and stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. ding a ling a -ling, number one, Albert Hall. We'll see you there. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the wall press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Art of Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 